Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Today we'll, we will be having a 1v1 between the Kit Life Daily Planner and the Erin Condren Daily Duo. Now this, both of these planners are a year's worth of dailies. Both have um, one page per day on the weekday and they both share uh, weekends together. Um, so they're very similar in that aspect. The, where they are majorly different is this planner, this is a year, so you have two planners. So each one has six months worth of um, daily sheets. Whereas this one is a whole year of um, on one coil. Um, I think it's a, I, I really like the idea. I mean, it's nice to have them separate if you wanna just carry six months at a time. But if you are a daily planner, I think I'd want to have, you know, my year together in one rather than, oh, I got to wait to write that in the book. You know, if it's, let's say it's December and you have something going on in January. Oh, well, my book is at home. My January book is at home. Or, you know, um, if you have the same planner, I mean, I guess you'll run into that problem with this too, when it's January, it's in December to January. But, you know, when it hits July, when it hits June, you need your July book, but your July book's at home. But in this one, you have everything together. So that's definitely something to consider with these. Obviously, the binding is different. You have a spiral coil, and this one is the double O coil. Some people hate this coil. Some people love it. I, I'm starting to like it. I'm okay with it. It's not my favorite, but it's also, I mean, on the Kit Life planner, I mean, even this planner being so chunky, it's really not a big deal in turning the pages, and it's not so big um, that it's getting in your way, so that's a nice thing. Um, with these as well, you also get with the Kit Life, you have three cover options and whatever cover you choose. So if you choose this marble one, you get the silver coil. If you choose the floral or the quote, you get a gold coil. Um, you can pick any of those three covers for the weekly or the daily. So that's really nice to be able to. But it, if, you're, if you're somebody that likes to swap your, your cover, it's a little bit harder. I've seen people do it where if they have multiple planners, they like open these up. I don't suggest doing that. I think I, I would get worried about ruining your coil, but they've opened it. And I've seen people do these on other planner brands and open this and then switch the cover. If you bought more than one planner from Kit Life, you can do that. Um, but I wouldn't suggest it. So you have to come to terms with if you get that cover, that's the one that stays there while Erin Condren these are removable, so you can take these off and put these back on your planner in, so you can change them seasonally and everything. So that's another thing to consider if you are looking for a daily planner. Now, the um, other thing I wanted to talk about was, um, like I said, this one I got in July, and I've used it on and off. <laughs> Not really much, though. I, you know, I kind of fell uh, victim to the hype of of the daily duo, you know? So would I get it again? Mm, no, because I'll tell you this, what I'm starting to find is what I, uh, I like, okay, here's a, here's a day on the page. So the, on the kit life, what I really am liking is some days, my days are not super busy. So this whole half of my page being taken up by the hours, it really, it makes the, it makes it kind of unusable. I don't really need that. Um, so what I like the difference between the kit life and the Erin Condren, I love, this is what you get. You get the hourly time block with the hours, um, one hour time slots, which is not bad because this is uh, what I'm planning on with this one is. I kind of time block like a rough estimate of how I'm going to time block my day. So, you know, um, six and seven, between six and seven, that's going to be my morning routine stuff. You know, at 10 today, because I, we're going out at one, I need to do my son's schoolwork between 10 and, and 12. So it has more structure. It has here a, set, a plate, little section for daily gratitude, daily activity, and meal plan. You have a whole section here that is just open, which I really, I hate this right here. Why is just an empty spot here? Why couldn't they just, 
fill that with lines or something. <laughs> I, I like lines. Let's not be afraid of lines. Um, so you have a whole section here. I mean, if you, you can use this for your, you know, uh, daily prayers, you can write these. I'm planning on maybe using this for, um, my work stuff that I need to post or, or social media things I want to post. I want I'm thinking of using that for my business and for my planner, Instagram. Um, you have the big three right here, checklist, and then you have a no, whole other set of checklists. And then down here you have a little a section for self-care. I'll say this. What I really like about this planner is the structure. If you don't like structure and you want to do your own thing and use the different places whatever way you want to, um, the, and, and the hours are really important, I mean, this would definitely work for somebody if you need to break things down into half hour increments. And even if you want to do like, one side is you and one side is your kids. Like you split this in half and each, you know, each side is a different, per, you know, or your kid's schedule or something. That works with this. Um, but, but for me, I like the structure. I like the planner telling me this is how you use the page. I mean, and it's, um, it's something, it depends on how you want to use them. So that is definitely a big selling point for me on the kit life daily planner because I like I like it guiding me I like it telling me how to use the page because if you just leave me free to do it on my own it will end up like this like just tons of unused pages <laughs> and I don't want to do that I want something that kind of guides me through the day like this is I like the structure of this but um, so let's go and let me see is one that I don't think I really use. I haven't used it in October. I didn't use it in October. So let's see. Let's just compare like the monthly. So. So with this planner, when you turn, what you will get is you do not get like a design on the page. You get a um, a welcome to for every month. So this is really nice. Um, I mean, this is cute and all, but when I don't really look at it very often, so it's not important. So the fact that you can use that, that's pretty cool. And you get on, um, every quarter you, this page is like a quarterly check-in, but when it's not a quarter, like I'll show you right here, I believe. Yeah. See July is, it has a quarterly check-in page. So you would, that's on this side, but when it's not, you get the stock grid page. So that is what I'm finding. I, um, I really am going to like using that. I think that'll be neat. And then when you turn the page, same thing, you get the, get the, uh, monthly. So this one obviously is the colorful and the daily duel only comes in colorful. So you get the color of the month, like typically with Erin Condren, this one you also is colorful, but it's like more softer pastel colors. So that is really pretty to me. I like that. And then you get kind of like, here we go again, another, another thing I'm talking about. Some people like it being so open and you do what you want with it. But I can tell you, I barely, I mean, I don't, I don't never, I never use this page because it's so open. I don't know what to do with it. So that is what I like about this one. <laughs> their dashboard, their monthly check-in is you have here monthly goals, four monthly goals to focus on, habits that support my monthly goals. You have a whole built-in habit tracker for the month. You have a little section for notes. And then look at this, books to read, podcasts to listen to, plans to be social, healthy eating intentions, fitness and movement plans. And they have all, all of these have little tips every month they change. I really like that. So that's something, like I said, the structure is really nice in this planner because it kind of, it, it lays it out for you. It doesn't just let you kind of, Oh, what am I going to use this section for? I mean, I can't tell you how many times in the Aaron Condren groups, everybody's like, Hey guys, what do you use? What do you use the dashboard for? And people put stuff, but a lot of, a lot of people just don't use it. It's just, it's empty. It's not used. So, um, so that's something to, you know, to think about. Um, if you like that open space and you want to use it for something other than what's here, then you'd, you'd like the Aaron Condren. But if you like that structure, you'd want to try out the kit life daily planner. And, um, like I said, so here are the weekly. So you get every week. Oh, and that's nice. See, they put, they keep all the months together. 
So that is nice. See, right here you have Monday, May 31st is, is behind the May tab. Whereas that doesn't always happen with the Aaron Condren Planner. Sometimes you get, see, look, here's October uh, 31st. They put it behind the September tab. So I know that really irks some people. So if that irks you, then that's really nice about the kit life. So the month is actually behind the month it belongs to. Um, so let's see. Then you have, let's see. Let me get a weekend page so we can kind of compare the weekend page. Okay, what am I missing? Maybe the weekend is on the left side. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> All right, yeah, see, I'm used to on, on this planner, they always keep it so the Mondays are always on the left and the weekends are always on the right. So I'm used to that. So we have here, um, we have like just a long Saturday is just a big checklist. Sunday is just a big checklist. And here is you kind of like if you want to prep for the week ahead, you have like a whole column right here. Um, I'm not too crazy about that. I would have rather that just be empty. But that is a neat feature um, if you want to like kind of do an overview of like the week before, like let's say it's this week and you, somebody says, hey, Tuesday at two o'clock, can we meet? So you can already just write that in and then just fill it in when you're doing your planning your next week ahead or, you know, um, whereas this one, it's just lines and an open space down here. Like I said, I would have just rathered it all be lines, maybe some checklists and then lines. Um, but because uh, I need lines to write or else I go all crooked all over the place. So that's something to consider. Like I said, those are the major differences between the layout. Um, with the with the Erin Condren, you get 118 JSM paper. Um, with Erin Condren, um, it's a little more a uh, little more like toothy. There's a little more grit to the page, which some people like, some people hate. With the Kit Life Planner, it is 100 JSM. But it really takes ink really well. Um, it's smooth, but not buttery smooth. Like if you've ever had a plum paper, their paper is just too smooth for me. <laughs> um, I wish it had a, it was a little bit more, um, you know, soaked up the ink better. Whereas sometimes with the plum paper, I feel like it um, it kind of sits on the paper and it smudges. This one, um, it takes the it takes the ink really well. Um, let me see what else I was going to talk about. Um, so yeah, like I said, you get a whole year, year's worth of, uh, of planner. So now let's talk about, you know, where it hits your wallet. I mean, it, all these features, you know, everything, it depends on what you, uh, what you're looking for. If you're looking for something that is, um, more structured or not. But also, let me tell you the price difference between these two. The Erin Condren Daily Duo is $68 retail. So yeah, that's the, that's, that's the Erin Condren uh, price point typically. And while I do love their products, I mean, um, it's, it's, it's high up there. $68 for a, year, a, year, a daily planner is a lot of money. Now the kit life, like I said, uh, the only thing that maybe I miss out on is the, the cover swapping, but at the same time, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I have notebooks I swap covers on and stuff I can use my covers and stuff with. On this one, this whole year's worth of planner is $29. So a whole year's worth of daily planner of this quality $29 and you can save $5 off if you use my code Erica E-R-I-K-A. So that is pretty neat. That is a really cool feature. Um, I shouldn't say feature. That is a really cool thing that they did this year. They're being super aggressive with the pricing. Um, and it's worth every dollar that they are asking for. Um, it's just, it's, it's worth it. And like I said, let's say, you know, in January, you know, January 1st, January 1st, you don't use your planner. You know, you don't feel so guilty about if you don't use a page here, a page there, you know, let's say you're busy on Wednesday, May 12th and you don't use your planner. Oh, okay. I didn't use the page. It's not the end of the world. Whereas like this, this like makes me sick. Well, this is the, yeah, this is the 2021. This makes me sick that I'm telling you, like I have, 
look how many pages I've gone to use. And it makes me sick when I think like, wow, I paid all this money and I didn't use, you know, I didn't use every single page. Whereas, you know, sometimes some weeks I'm, um, I'm out, you know, for the day and I didn't take it with me. Oh, I didn't use my planner today. Like, oh, I feel awful. That was so much wasted money. I don't have that. <laughs> so, um, so that's what I, um, that's my big comparison, um, between the two. Like I said, I am going to be, I'm going to see if I can gift this to somebody. The, um, if anybody I know wants the, the 2021, um, personally, I'm really, you know, I've tried so hard to get some planner girls, but, uh, but I actually, I did have my old neighbor. She came over last week and I was talking to her about planners, obviously, cause I'm always trying to convert everybody. And she hopped on during this launch week and she went and grabbed one of these for her. So I'm really excited for her to get in. You know, I'm excited for the future planning, but, um, but yeah, if I can't, maybe I'll try and sell it for something just to get a little bit of my money back. Um, but yeah, so for me, like I said, I am going to be using the kit life planner. They did send this to me. So even, even more of a, a treat it has been. Um, but, um, cause I mean, I, I was going to buy it anyway, but, um, I'm really excited to use this. So yeah. So hopefully this helped you make the decision if you were kind of contemplating between the two, or maybe you were looking at the duo and you're like, wait a minute, she brings up some good points. <laughs> so hopefully this helped you guys out. But, um, like I said, um, love both planner brands, um, wonderful products from both, but, um, but yes, move on over daily duo kit life daily planner is, uh, is here for 2021. So super excited to start using it next year. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.